Hi, I'm Jason Jones, and I'm going to show you a great way to blend images together using the layer style luminance values. So right now I have this boxing woman image, and I'm going to grab my move tool and just drag and drop her into this highway image. And I'm going to hold down the shift key, which is going to center this layer directly into this uh, document. And you can see here in my layers panel, I have two layers, the boxing woman, and underneath I have a highway image. Okay, so I'm just going to toggle that back on so we can see our boxing woman. And let's say you played around with some opacity, you know, in order to blend this image into the underlying image, and that wasn't getting it for you. So you decide to slide over and play around with some of the blend modes within the layers panel, which is a great way to blend a layer to the underlying layer. I use those all the time, but I'm going to set that back to normal, and we're going to double click on this layer which brings up the layer style dialog box. And in fact, I'll show you another way to get to it. Let's cancel out of this and let's go to the layer menu and select layer style blending option. Same thing. And if we scroll down to the bottom of that window, you'll see an area that says blend if, and this is referring to the channels and luminance values. So we're blending if gray luminance values and you can actually select per channel. But right now we're going to stay with gray because I want to show you what these do. If I were to grab this shadow point, and I know it's shadow because it's black, and it says zero, which represents black in Photoshop, 255 represents white, and you can see our highlight point here. I'm going to take that shadow point and drag it to the right. And if you look at the image, you'll see that all of those dark points, all of those dark luminance values, in this case 65 and below, are receding into the background. Okay, now that doesn't look great, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Option key and I'm going to split that arrow for a more graduated effect. Okay, so now you can see luminous values 109 to 0 are receding into the background. And I can also take my highlight point and do the same thing, drag it to the left, and you can see by looking at the image, all the highlight points are receding into the background. And again, that little trick is to hold down the Option key and go ahead and separate that triangle. Okay, now we can see the highway image underneath, and I want to kind of mess around with these settings so that we have a lot of the highlight highlights moving into the background. Now if I take a look at the underlying layer slider, that's referring to the highway image. Okay, so if I were to take that shadow point and move it to the right, you can see all of the luminance values from 23 to 0 are poking through the boxing woman image. And the nice thing about this is if I say OK to this modification, you know, I have my effect here in the document. If I double click on that layer and bring back up the layer style dialog box, everything's intact. So it's non-destructive, which is great. And I can go in here and I can continue to play around with those sliders if I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. So if you played around with opacity, that didn't get it for you. Then you tried some blend modes. That didn't really give you the effect that you were looking for. Play around with the luminous sliders. You'd be surprised at what you come up with. I'm Jason Jones. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it.